Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one only Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Optifine and Forge at the exact same time. So first off, we need to install Forge. So go to 1.7.2 latest. Scroll all the way over to installer. Click that. It will then take you off to an ad fly link where you have to wait 10 seconds. And in this 10 seconds, I'm going to say this. You might have some problems with ad fly saying cookies are not enabled on your browser. If you have that issue, go ahead and refresh your browser and see if it fixes it. If it doesn't, there are two links in the description for how to en how to enable cookies on Google Chrome and how to enable cookies on Mozilla Firefox. Go down there, follow the instructions in those videos, and then try to re-download it. It should work for you. Nevertheless, once you're on AdFly and you see Skip Ad up here at the top, click that. It will download this folder. You want to click Keep, this jar file, actually. Once you've done that, you want to go back to your desktop or your Downloads folder, which it might be there as well. Simply just search Downloads in the Windows button there to get to that. Nevertheless, right-click on the Forge icon here, or the Java icon. Open with Java Platform SE Binary. And then install client is what you want to do. So make sure that's clicked and then click OK. After that, it'll go through this installation process. If it doesn't work, go launch just regular Minecraft 1.7.2 with no mods, no anything. And then come back into it and uh, you should be good to go. Nevertheless, after you've installed Forge, we need Forge to create some folders that it creates on first boot up. So what that means is we need to go boot Minecraft Forge, what we just installed. So to do that, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. You're going to have to re-sign into your account or actually just hit play there. After that, you want to go over to Profile Editor. And I personally do not like having all of these different folders. So we're going to delete the Optifine and the Forge folder. And then we are going to come down here to the actual profile we want to use, Dead Buddha. Click Edit Profile and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where we see Release 1.7.2-Forge. Click that and then click Save Profile. Now we need to hit play on Forge. It's going to boot up Minecraft, but guess what? Unfortunately, as soon as you boot it up, we just have to close it. It doesn't matter anymore. So it's going to boot up, and okay, yeah, go away. I don't care. Now we need to go to Optifine and download Optifine. Now, unfortunately, we have to download the n newest version that is compatible with Forge. And what I mean by that is we can't just go up here and download this version. Why? Because it's not going to work with Forge. It has to be 1.7.2 Optifine to be Forge compatible, and even then, some... Times uh, these aren't Forge compatible. However, we do know that 1.7.2 D1 here is. So we can go ahead and click Mirror to go here and then click the Download button. It'll come down here. We can click Keep and now Forge or Optifine should be on our desktop. Now, what we want to do is hit the Windows key R and type in percent APPDAT percent percent app data percent and click OK. After that, you want to go into the dot Minecraft folder and then you want to go into this mods folder. Installing Optifine is now as simple as drag and drop. So, boom, there's Optifine. Close out of this, go ahead and relaunch Minecraft, and you will now have Optifine installed using the Forge Mod Loader. That is what's beautiful about Forge. It's so easy to install things and get things up and running when it comes to mods because they're simply drag and drop when it comes to Forge. It's not this big process of having to right-click on things. You just install Forge, and then you drag and drop everything else into your mods folder. If we go into mods, we will see Optifine 1.7.2, and we can go ahead and click that, click done, options, video settings, and here are all of your Minecraft settings. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I make awesome Minecraft content every single day of the week. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is my PC speed build in which I show you me building my PC. It is absolutely awesome. I actually really like the video, so uh, go check it out if you haven't seen it. And on the right is play Minecraft snapshots, or better yet, how to play Minecraft snapshots. In that video, I'll walk you through exactly how you can play Minecraft snapshots, and uh, it's actually really easy, so go check it out. Also, check out my daily vlog and bomb save your screen to see what I'm up to every single day of my life. Anyway guys, I'm Nick's Games and I'm out. Peace.